Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video which has been requested quite a few times and I finally got around to filming it and it is the Jean-Paul Gaultier Classic range of perfumes. If you're new here then welcome to my perfume channel, subscribe if you love perfumes like me, I'm always doing a request and I have new perfume review videos up every week and I particularly love doing range review videos like this where I'm going to go over everything that you can buy in this range because I totally get you know especially with Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique where the bottles are quite similar like how are you supposed to know what the difference is between them all so hopefully I can help clear stuff like that up for you guys and as with all my videos the products that I mention the perfumes I mention will be linked down below US and UK links and I try and find you a good price so Jean-Paul Gaultier released the Classique for women back in 1993 girl this is a old perfume classic in more ways than one on. and I think that is just testament to the fact of what a good perfume this is how popular it's been and it's been a consistent good seller for you know 25 years like it's probably gonna be around for another 10 20 years like that is impressive so we are not dealing with any ordinary perfume here so let's start with the original. So this is actually the classic Eau de Toilette. A lot of people think this must be an Eau de Parfum because it's the original, it's actually an Eau de Toilette. But it's easy to associate Eau de Toilettes with being weak, not very long lasting, which is true of a lot of Eau de Toilettes. But that is not true of this one. Like this is a well lasting perfume, a strong perfume the kind of perfume you can smell on people when they walk by, like this becomes people's signature scent. This is a quality strong perfume, not for the faint hearted. The main notes that you get in Classique are vanilla and vanilla is in all of the flankers as well. So this is probably the most famous vanilla perfume. And the way that I would describe the vanilla is it's like a creamy feminine vanilla slightly sweet so orange blossom is also a really dominant note here so that is a quite delicate feminine type smell when you take a lot of orange blossom and you mix it with vanilla it creates a very pretty but strong vanilla then in this original Eau de Toilette you get a lot of star anise you get a lot of ylang ylang and in the initial spray you also get a fair bit of ginger as well. There's a whole bunch of different floral notes in here like rose iris, there's musk in here, tuberose pear, there's loads and loads of different notes in here but the dominant ones are vanilla, orange blossom, star anise. In terms of lasting, like this is the kind of thing you can spray on clothes and you know perhaps you put the clothes back in the wardrobe and you're still going to be able to smell it on that clothing next time you wear it. Like this is definitely good for lasting and considering it's an eau de toilette and therefore not as expensive as a lot of other big selling perfumes, this is actually quite good value for money in my opinion. So next I'm going to go on to the eau de parfum version of this. Now there have been different eau de parfums of this released over the years. The one that you can buy now came out in 2017 it's called classique eau de parfum collector 2017 and it's the beautiful um red outfit on the woman's body and this is best described as like a boozy version of the original so there's a really strong like rum boozy note in here imagine walking into a sort of a uh, nighttime club somewhere in like Soho in London where there's sort of maybe a jazz club or something it's that boozy rum again mixed with that really strong vanilla note that's the main note here the orange blossom has been taken away so I'd say this is perhaps a bit more like serious version of the original none of that like fancy pretty orange blossom we're just going straight with the vanilla straight with the boozy rum there's narcissus orchid there's rose amber's back so a lot of those floral hearts are still there and you do still get the floralness and then sandalwood and tonka bean in the base but this is probably the most intense out of all of them or one definitely up the first or second most intense out of the classics um if you don't want a strong perfume this is not for you like it's stronger than the eau de toilette um because it is an eau de parfum so it's more concentrated and um, perhaps if you wear the eau de toilette during the day the original classique then you could mix it up and wear this in the evenings if you want something a little bit more sultry boozy intense 
So speaking of intense, there is a Jean-Paul Gaultier classic intense version. This is also an eau de parfum and the way that I would describe this is it's like the original but without the as much sweetness. So yes the vanilla is still there but the floral notes have been umped up here and it's, I can never pronounce this, I think it's tiare flower is very dominant. Orange blossom still there, jasmine is quite strong, there's also patchouli. So if you're wanting that Jean-Paul go to a vanilla feel but you don't want something sweet you want something more floral then this is the one for you this is definitely the most floral of the Jean-Paul Gaultier's think like Ellie Saab in white or um some of the more floral La Vie Spells so this is like a nod to the original but it's probably the one that departs the most from that original signature smell just because it really is quite floral. We then have Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique Essence. So this comes in a beautiful um, sort of shiny goldy bottle and kind of abstract bottle and this can, is the vanilla and the orange blossom of the original but they really hyped up the sweet orangeness so there's also like proper tangerine orange in here and there's like a whipped cream fragrance note so it's like taking the original and making it into a sweety orange version there's a, the gingers there in the initial hit and there's some jasmine so there's still some floral notes in here but this is definitely more the most orange of them all so if you're an orange blossom lover if you like orange then this is definitely one for you i really like this one i think it's a really interesting twist on the original it's a little bit more fun fruity perhaps this could be fun if you're going somewhere tropical or you want more like fruity for summer then this is definitely a good option even though there isn't honey in this you almost do get like that honey I think it's the syrupy sweetness of an orange imagine like an orange liqueur or something um quite unusual and yeah I really like this one the bottle's cool too so in 2019 recently we got Jean-Paul Gaultier, Gaultier classic cabaret this is kind of a bit simpler and lighter than the others um you get it's the orange blossom and vanilla is back again and then a fair amount of ginger then there's a little bit of amber grease that you can't really smell but that's it so you just really get those three classic notes of orange blossom vanilla ginger from the original so it's much simpler formulation much sort of cleaner fresher simpler version of the original and you definitely get more ginger than in any of the other ones so if you like ginger then this is definitely a good one for you um because you really get it in the initial hit and then in the dry down the orange blossom and vanilla start warming up and coming through and then finally there's Jean-Paul Gaultier classic fresh Andre edition so there's usually a summer edition that comes out or a fresh edition that comes out most years this is what came out in 2018 and it's still being sold Jean-Paul Gaultier um, perfumery has collaborated with a French um, artist called Andre hence the sort of artwork on the bottle and this is your fresh summer version if you're going to a really hot climate or you just want something light for hot days in summer then this is the one for you hence the name fresh um, they've got a lemon sorbet note in here with those typical vanilla and orange blossom notes the gingers here but it's like a sugary ginger like a sorbet ginger a little bit of musk in the bay so this is your fresh version yes you still get the vanilla and the orange blossom but it's much fresher lighter cleaner more summery than all the others really so yeah this is definitely perhaps one you could layer throughout the day if you're wearing the original eau de toilette and then finally as always with these um best-selling perfumes you can get the body lotion the cream shower gel the deodorant is really good in this one so i would definitely recommend getting the um, accompanying body products if you're a fan of this perfume and it's always a good way to layer and um, perhaps you just want to wear body cream and don't even wear the perfume so it is can be like a cheaper way of getting the smell without having to buy more perfume and good for gifts or good if you just want to mix it up because you're sick of buying perfumes so yeah I'll leave links to them down below as well because they are all like good um, good quality and well fragranced ones so that's it let me know what you think of the Jean-Paul Gaultier classic 
classic range. I'm sure there are lots of fans out there. Let me know if you tried any of these, what you think, and if you found this video useful, helpful, do give the video a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. Where have you been? Um, but that's it, so thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.